do you need buffer in your heating system? Probably not. Let's see why. When we are discussing about buffers, not no buffers, I had also video with question buffer, yes or no. This topic is always polarizing and everyone has the opinion and this is good. You could have systems with buffer working really good, systems without buffer are working bad. But in real life, probably for 90% of your installations, you don't need buffer. I'm not talking about big systems with cascade heat pumps, with some cooling examples, with big pressure drops, but this is really small percentage. What is the main thing about buffer? The main thing is that everyone thinks that your pump, your circulator pump is not strong enough to feed your system. But this is not true, especially with heat pumps. Here you will see pump curve for Panasonic circulator pump. On one axis, you will see pressure, pressure drop usually in kilopascals or millibars or height in meters, but we will focus on kilopascals. And on another axis, you have flow rate. Here you will see pump curve, how flow rate is going higher. We have less pressure drop uh, available for our installation. And the same is vice versa. What I mean available pressure drop on our installation, because this curve is only for installation. It means that internal pressure drop, like heat exchanger, pipes, valves, all, are already calculated. And let's see what we have here available. This is maximum curve. So maximum, uh, maximum available pressure drop is around 140 kilopascal for zero flow rate. For 10, 20, it's like something around 100. What we will focus here? We will focus on the highest domestic hot water, uh, domestic hot water and heating heat pump. It's 16 kilowatts. And for 16 kilowatt, our nominal flow rate is around 45 liters per minute. When we go here on 45 and maximum curve, we have something like this. So we have around 60 kilopascal available pressure drop. I showed you in previous videos, normal under for heating installation with good design primary pipe. It, it's not more than 30 kilopascal, 40 probably on the top, but 60, you will probably, you will probably not have in your, in your installation. For radiators is the same, uh, only if it's really old with with micro bore with eight millimeters and 10 millimeters pipe, but let's focus on, on more than 90% of installation. What this also means, uh, we have also some opinions that for maximum pump speed, you will spend uh, more energy running that pump than if you have two pumps, for example, with buffer uh, beside them, but this is not true. Um, uh, here, of course, on maximum speed, you will have really high consumption of pump, but as we showed in previous video, uh, this is only design point. So design outdoor temperature means less than 1% of the year. It also means because our pump is modulating when we have for example, half flow rate, so 22.5 liters per minute. We are somewhere here. And here for our 60 kilowatt, let's say 60 is, is maximum, maximum speed. But let's say that we have 60 kilowatt 
uh, sorry, 60 kilopascal, which will probably be much lower. We are here on lower curve. Lower curve means lower electricity consumption. Pump is modulating, compressor is modulating because it's inverter. So we have less consumption here. It means most of the year, our pump consumption will be really low. That's why I started this with, you probably don't need buffer. Because this pump is much stronger than you have in your old heating systems. Usually pumps uh, in heating systems are uh, with nominal, nominal uh, pressure drop around 60 kilopascal. So this pump is strong enough to feed your whole heating system and you don't need to be afraid that you will exceed your available pressure drop. Of course, this is 16 kilowatts. Uh, the same pump is for 12 kilowatts, even for nine. So for this, let's say lower nominal flow rate, around 20, 25 liters per minute, you can go with lower curve and you will have really nominal working condition. You don't need to go on maximum curve. If you have a, a system which needs adoption on maximum curve, you can set up on Panasonic unit maximum curve. It means when your system needs maximum flow rate, maximum kilowatts, your pump will run on maximum. When it's not the case, your pump will modulate down whatever your flow rate is needed. So I think this debate will be uh, even more important in the future with more heat pumps uh, going on the way. But the main thing is pump, circulator pump, which is for sure a really important thing in system, one of the most with compressor. And uh, in my opinion, and experience, if you cut off your system with buffer, you can really hard maintain a flow rate on the both primary and secondary side. For some specific examples, probably you will, you will help yourself with buffer, but with more, uh, with 90% or more installations, especially if you have only underfloor heating or only radiators, so one zone, you don't need it. It's better to modulate with pump. Uh, it's better for efficiency. It's better for compressor because this is why manufacturer put so capable pump. Thank you for watching. Subscribe on channel. Uh, follow me also on LinkedIn. I post a lot of interesting cases about everyday situations, about education. So, and also send me email or message or feedback, whatever you want. So we could, we could probably put more, more education on the, on the field and to learn more about heating systems. See you.